Hey there, so I'm going to try to record this on my earbuds mic instead of my Chromebook. Because I took that video down, but if you heard it, you know. Uh, you can't tell what I'm saying. So, um, I don't know what I'm going to be drawing when I'm recording this first because I'm, I'm stupid, but... <laughs> um, I'm probably going to be drawing my friends of see probably Spindle Sweet again because I just love her design. But, um, I wanted to do this real quick. Um, so, before we get into anything, we're going to be sure, you know, do the things. Like, God, it feels so weird to say that. I don't know if anyone else, like, understands that, but it's so, like, cheap. Just be like, don't remember, remember to, like, comment, and subscribe. Like, uh, no, just do what you want. If you don't want to do anything, like, don't do anything, you know? But, um, I don't know, I kind of go over, like, basic things about me. I feel like that'd be cool. Mostly according to My Little Pony. Because I'm currently half fixated on My Little Pony. Um, I love My Little Pony so much. It, I don't know, I've, um, someone on Twitter said, Oh, this isn't any, this one not any and I comment about one of the ponies I made. And, uh, like, on a pick room. <laughs> I said, why, why is that? And they were like, we all had a very fast growing phase, and I'm like, I've been into My Little Pony since I was seven years old. I'm currently 17. If this is still a phase, I'm kind of worried. Um, my favorite pony's always been Pinky. Uh, she's just, I don't know, I've always loved her. Um, my favorite princess. It, it switches between Luna and Cadence. I, I love them both. The, my favorite, like, finale, like, or starter, I guess, their season is, uh, the royal red wedding, because I remember it very vividly. And uh, trying to make a My Little Pony stop motion uh, video with my with my um My Little Pony toys. Uh, I didn't have a shining armor though, so I think I used the Twilight. Yeah, you know, I was given LGBT rep before I even knew I was queer. That's, that's so funny. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, I can't make long videos because my Autodesk will not. Autodesk is stupid, and um. But yeah, uh, hopefully this audio is on. If it's not, then I'll probably just throw some music at the end. Um, uh, if you want to subscribe, I would appreciate it. I'm currently at 41, and I think that's really cool. Um, share it with your friends if you think my art is pog. pog. Um, follow me on Twitter if you want to see me ramble, or DM me and tell me, hey, you stink, and I'll be like, yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Alright, this is just me popping in afterwards. Um, I just finished uh, the drawing, I'm now editing. By editing, I mean I'm putting the audio in there and I'm putting video on it. Um, I'm really bad at editing. <laughs> um, I have like three minutes and I don't want to like have music for another three minutes. So I figured if I just like put my voice in a little bit, you know, talk a bit more. Um, with My Little Pony, I got into it when it first came out. I was originally actually the target demographic because I was seven and I didn't know I was trans yet. Um, My Little Pony has been with me for so long. Um, My Little Pony, Sonic, and Pokemon are the like, three fandoms that have been with me for so long. Um, I first got into fandom culture like around when I was eight or seven. Um, I think, I don't know how old I was actually, but I know my first OC was a Sonic OC named Bolt. I could probably give a whole video about her later, but, um, My Little Pony, it's, it's, I'm so, I'm so, like, I love it so much. I made, I made so many OCs for it. Um, my friends remember these OCs, I'm sure. Um, personally, I find the fandom fun. Um, I know there's associations with this fandom, but I love this fandom. I've never had anything bad happen to me, personally. Um, like from other bronies. Um, I love watching My Little Pony YouTubers when I was younger. I watched a lot of I love Compostable a lot and um, Ink Rose. I loved her like History of a Question video so much I rewatched it like 30 times. Um, I was obsessed with the idea of like Celestia Luna's kids and I don't know. I still kind of am. I want to make my own lore videos at some point. Um, I have a pony Sona. His name is Storybook. Um, you can find him in my toy house. I have to look my toy house on my Twitter. Um, uh, my friend Caitlin actually made him originally. He was an earth pony because she was just drawing me, her, and a few of our friends uh, in real life as ponies. And I've always known myself a unicorn. 
I've always loved unicorns more than I've loved any other kind of species of ponies. So I kind of changed them to a unicorn, and I I I love them a lot. I want to make another pony sona just because I love designing pony OCs. Uh, this is also a message for anyone who has pony OCs they don't want. Uh, I will take them, and uh, I will rehome them. I love them so much. I will hold them very close to me. I love pony OCs so much. Probably more than I love fairy OCs, and I'll be, if I'm really honest, because I'm also a fairy. But I find my pony designs a lot, I don't know, funner to me. Um, specifically, I'm better, I'm better at designing female ponies myself, which is funny, because I, I'm a dude and I like dudes. Oh, well, at least not really. I'm, I'm a romantic, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, uh, I'm just gonna cut this through then, because I don't know how much longer I can use. Uh, thank you so much for watching.